Okay, I'm going to have a closer look at the spin bowling we've seen so far in this test match and importantly also today. So let's just get straight into it so we can have a look at uh, some variations. First of all, this is just a little package of some turn and bounce that we've seen so far from the Pakistan spinners. So Jid Khan, of course, getting some nice turn and bounce. That did plenty, believe me. And there's a couple of little rough areas that Norman Ali's been hitting as well. And that one also turning and bouncing. So it's not easy at all. Norman Ali now just trying to hit couple of areas. That's off the straight. Now that's going to be a concern for some of the batsmen for Australia, I'm sure. And that one also not far off the straight, but a little bit leg side. So there's a couple of little areas where the ball is turning and turning considerably. What I want to just go back and have a look at now is the variation between Lion and also Warner. So we're going to look at the, the red balls, or the red stream, I should say, and also uh, for Sage of the blue ones. Let's have a look at the variation of these deliveries. And you can see that uh, there's not a great deal of action on the ball from line. He does get some overspin, some extra bounce. These are all line. Now, this is Sajid Khan. Have a look at that extra bounce. So he's getting good grip off the surface. Yes, he's a little bit slower as well as he bowls the delivery, and that maybe is helping a fraction also. But there's no doubt he's getting more energy out of this track at the moment than Nathan Lyon did in the first couple of days of this test. Right, so let's get in now and have a look at uh, what David Warner in particular was doing against Sajid Khan. Now, this is quite interesting because David Warner just plays these deliveries so late. So the ball could be pitching around about, oopsie, around about here. And David Warner is uh, he's still not too concerned about getting on the front foot at all. He's just, that's where most players, most batsmen would get on the front foot. He just looks to rock on the back foot. Let me just uh, delete that and play. And you'll see that every time just looks to get on the back foot. And sometimes when he's not in the right position like that, and Kawaja is doing this as well, again, perhaps undone a little bit by the flight, again, they just uh, survive and make sure that there's no real dramas. So here's a delivery which is well flighted. So what's he going to do? Is he looking to come on the front foot? Is he looking to come forward and play this ball around that area? Or is he going to go back? I don't know. What do you reckon he's going to do? Let's have a look. What does he do? Back foot. Got such quick feet, so it's really good. However, that one just kept a little bit too low and just a little bit or well, one too many, I should say, from David Warner, and he, he freed himself up. He went back onto those stumps and allowed those stumps to be seen. And, of course, that was a major concern for him with those uh, stumps getting rattled at the end. OK, so it's not been easy out there for the batsmen, even though the total for Australia has uh, been pretty tidy. Just one other thing to have a look at, and this is the work again. Have a look at the energy that Sajid Khan puts on this ball. Look at this energy. There we go. Look at this bounce. Look at this turn and bounce. Look at that. This is really good work from him. Really nice. Right over the top. And he's just getting a little bit of movement out of uh, this surface as well. There are some areas you can bowl into. But getting turn and bounce, which is really good. So good stuff from him. And Sajid Khan, I think, is going to be a serious effect on this track because some, I'm not going to bounce as much, some are going to keep a little bit low from time to time as well.